everybody, it's the King of Pot. As you know, we did the mass DPH protest a few weeks back. It was a great success. We had a lot of media coverage, including Mass Can Normal. Special thank you for Mass Can Normal for stepping up to the plate, bringing awareness to our protest, bringing awareness to the medical patients in Boston, and making sure that they informed each and every one of their members on their membership list. It turned out to be a great success. We also had Channel 22 News there, and they're in Springfield, Mass, and that's where I want to go with this next. A few months back, I had an individual, a lawyer, that came from the West Coast, and his name was Valerio Romano. Mr. Romano came on my show uh, to talk about patients, to talk about dispensaries, and to talk about caregivers. Well. When he came on my show, my, if you go back and you listen to the archives, you're going to find that it wasn't what the show was advertised as. Now, Mr. getting back to Mr. Romano. So we got this little video clip, courtesy of Channel 22 News in Springfield. Let's hear what Mr. Romano had to say about our protest and the reason why we're out there. So it's not like, you know, they've had, they've been on, they've had medical cannabis for, you know, for decades and all of a sudden the DPH is taking their medicine from them. There was a brief period where they could get medical cannabis from caregivers. Sometime during next, the next year, when dispensaries finally open their doors, the patients will now have great, greater, more consistent access to medicine. You believe that? Come on now. He's saying that it isn't like they didn't have their medicine for a little while or that the DPH uh, took away their medicine, there's going to be dispensaries. He says, when the dispensaries come, they get back their medicine. How can a lawyer, I spoke to him, very articulate man, how can he make such an ignorant statement like that? Mr. Romano, let me explain something to you, because you don't smoke marijuana or use it medically, apparently, with an answer like that. Number one, there are people out there that need this medicine, and there are certain strains of this medicine that works for them. Without a caregiver system and a patient that does not know how to grow, he or she has no way of getting this medicine anymore. Number two, without allowing somebody to be able to grow the medicine that they need, the particular strain they may need for their illness, where is this a medical marijuana law? And you're saying for them, oh, it's okay for them not to have their medicine until a dispensary comes in. Can you say that to maybe somebody in your family that has heart trouble, that takes a heart medication pill or a diabetes pill or some other pill that needs to be taken that's a pharmaceutical? So what makes that pill different than marijuana? We all know the difference. One's legal and one isn't. You people want to make money off the backs of sick people. You came into Massachusetts from the West Coast with good intentions, and now you've got this new brainstorm idea. What's your idea? You want to make sure the dispensaries are the conglomerate here. You want to make sure the dispensaries are the only ones providing medication to the patients. That's wrong. That can't be. We voted in a law here in Massachusetts, the citizens did, and we said we wanted medical marijuana, we wanted a way of growing our marijuana, and we wanted a caregiving plan. We do not have that now. We did for a little while. That is true, Mr. Romano. We did have it for a little while. And then they did take it away. And we want it back. And if it takes suing the Department of Health to get it back, so be it. If it takes a bill to be drawn up and be submitted by somebody that would sponsor it to the State House, so be it. But let it be known, Mr. Romano and others like you, we are not going away. We are the real patients. We are the patients that need our medicine, going to help get those people to get back their medicine that you helped take away.